In all weathers, winter and summer, this routine work of protecting our convoys and searching out the enemy goes on. Day and night, the aircraft and their crews are ready at stations all round our coasts, from the southern tip of Cornwall to such lonely northern outposts as Port Ferry Bay. glad there's so many sergeants here. Honestly, if there's one thing we love to see out there, it's sergeants. It's the only time they sit down, shut up, and listen. Agent, please. Pay attention, please. Agent, please. Agent, please. Agent, please. Agent, please. Agent, please. Agent, please. Will the crew of Sunderland, Keith Atawe, report to their aircraft immediately? The captain and the navigator report to the operation room. I will repeat that. Will the crew of Sunderland, Keith Atawe, Report to their aircraft immediately. The captain and navigator to report to the operation room. That is all. Cheerio, boys, and all the best. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to transport you way over to Covent Garden. We're going to bring you a slice of Russian valley. <laughs> Campbell? Can I bring flat and PD in, sir? Yes, do. Come on, PD. Hello, PD boy. He still doesn't salute when he comes into the operation from Campbell. Does most other things, sir. Good evening, Campbell. Here's the general situation. Group want me to send out an anti submarine patrol over convoy AL 37, a homeward bound convoy which is approaching the suspected U boat area. Gordon has all the details. Here's your form, Green. That's the present position of the convoy. It's at 20 hundred hours, is it, sir? That's right, and at 0800 hours tomorrow morning, she changes course to 145. I see it. You'll see it on the map. Thank you very much, sir. Call for you, sir. There you go. Here's a net forecast. What's the weather like, Sean? Oh, it looks fair enough, Johnny. Here's the rest of your day. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Right, nice steady job tonight, Brisk. All night convoy escort. What one of theirs? I'm afraid so. Convoy AL 37. Those at position 20 hundred hours. Mm. That's where we leave it at 0800 hours in the morning. Yes. Two birds suspected in the vicinity. That's why we're out there. Yeah, is it a large one? It's fairly large. 42 merchant vessels. What time do we be away now, Campbell? I'll be off the water by half past eight, sir. That's fine. You got all your gin, Jamie? All set, sir. Oh, the crew are on board. Yes, the RT's work has changed, too. Yes. Keep Tommy calling Sandpiper. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over to you. Over. Hello, T for Tommy. Hello, T for Tommy. This is Sandpiper calling T for Tommy. Nice Sandpiper calling T for yes. Tommy. I'm receiving you clearly and distinctly, strength nine. Night, sir. Clearly and Bad distinctly, indeed. strength nine. Have you anything for me? Have you anything for me? Night, sir. Over to Cheers you. Up, Good luck.
pale, smiling morn. What sort of a day? Oh, not too bad, I suppose. But it never does look good to me this time in the morning. No, not me, thanks. I'll go and have a pipe. By the way, where's that cat? No, not your kind of a cat, Petey, you old fool. I mean Catalina. The one that's relieving tea for Tommy. Oh, A for Apple. Oh, she's been up an hour now. She should be about halfway there. I think Campbell's convoy just about missed those U-boats, Bernard. Hmm, <laughs> must have had a pretty boring night. Yes, I'll bet they're just about browned off, Bernard. being relieved for food now. But I'll take over. Okay, sir. here from Tifa Tommy. Enemy aircraft shadowing convoy. Oh, probably spotting for you, boat. We'd better send it away for Apple in case he hasn't picked it up. Right up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Enemy subs suspected in this area. Keep a good look at
Pam, how much petrol have we got left? We're running very low. Only enough for about two and a half hours. Not so good. No. Hello, Skipper. We've only got two left for two and a half hours. I think we'd better set course for home. OK, Jamie. Hang on for about five minutes more, and then we'll go. Hey, Henry, got some good gen here. Whizzo! While this operator's intercept this message, sir. Someone's had a busy time. Thank you, Jamie. It's always the way, Sean. Hello, Captain calling all positions. Captain calling all positions. I thought you'd like to know that our relief has sunk our U-boat. Lucky devils. Just our luck. What have we been doing all night? Don't you think we'd better have a boat mastered, sir? I don't got any ideas. Charlie always gets the wrong idea. I've got an idea, all right. Just leave it to me. OK. Your idea at the moment is to keep a lookout for Catalina. There's an aircraft over to starboard. I think it's our cat. Hello, all gun positions. There's our Catalina on the starboard side. That's her, all right. We've had this. We'd better get ready now. Quarters operations room. Controller, one moment, please. Controller Coastal speaking. All right, thank you. Plotter? Yes, sir? Air sweeps three and four have returned early. Have them taken off the board, will you? Right, sir. Will you take down sorties three and four, please? I'd have dared to get my breakfast. I'm feeling that way too. We've had a busy night. Wouldn't be too bad except for that radar. Good morning. What's all this I hear about a radar? Oh, boy, I just made it. Well, the Navy had a belated report of a possible radar in Bergen the day before yesterday. So we laid on those searches on the Norwegian coast and also those patrols you see, five, one, and two, between Iceland and Norway, in case she tries to break out. Had they any idea of what she is? Well, they think she's a Dusseldorf. Mm. So far, we've only got her up as a query at Bergen on the board. I suppose that's why you're reinforcing the escort in those two convoys 10 and 11 out there. Yes, I thought we'd better be on the safe side, just in case. Any U-boat reports? Yes, a very good attack down in the bay. Looked like a kill. Oh, grand. Uh, the full report in yet? Yes, the full reports are in. There's a lot of wreckage in sand. Well, there doesn't seem anything else unusual, except that long mid flight, number 12, out in the Atlantic. What's that all about? That was specially laid on for Air Ministry. Uh, it should meet convoy number 15, too. And uh, I've left a note here in the log for you to tell the SASO if they do get a sighting report. Oh, well, that's all right. I think there's nothing else I'll take over now. Okay. 
Well, Chero, good watch. Good breakfast to you. Chero, be down So long, Jerry. You want your breakfast? Morning, eh? Morning, P.W. Looks like a busy day today. Radar business. Yes, I wonder if she really is at sea. Oh, there's my phone. I'll come and see you in a minute. I know. Controller Coastal. 905 Squadron. I lost my assistant. Who had any signal about 905? No, sir. No, we've heard nothing definite about it yet. You're going to move 6 of 678 from Antrim to Kerry Keel today. I see. Give it to Plotter, will you? Okay. Plotter? Yes, sir? I have an enemy plot for you. All right, sir. Catalina N of 470 reports an enemy unit. Bearing 358 degrees. Eight Eight miles I got something for you. Fenny William, London Orange. 2348. Course, 235 degrees. Speed, 25 knots. Time, 0700. Plot it as an enemy naval force. Right, sir. Have you got everything you want? Fine, that's all right. I'll tell the Admiralty and let you know what they want. Right, thank you. Look, 27, I've just had that enemy report in from N470. Have you ordered a relief aircraft to take over shadowing the radar? A standby Sunderland from Port Ferry Bay, good. No, thanks. Huey? Yeah, I'll have some. I see now. Well, I'm going to do some work, blokes. Don't stay yourself, Joe. Can we have something on the radio, Pete? Something nice and soothing, Pete. I'm not quite myself today. What the hell you got there? It's the boat's new mascot. Let's have a look. Who is it? Who the devil do you think it is? Santa Claus? What's this, a pigtail? No, it's to sling him up in the wardrobe. Lucky old Hitler. Let's have a look, Lou. Cool. Just what he needs. Yeah, give it to me. Chuffy Lou? I've lost a shirt. Shut up. Skipper's coming aboard, right? So he is. Oi! The skipper's coming aboard! Okay. Right, bloke, the skipper's coming. Lob the stuff out. I'll give you a hand with the washing up, Pete. A woman's work is never done. Who's responsible for that? No. I thought so. 700 all signed yes, us. So Morning, good. Moon. Oh. Good Lord. <laughs> Pretty fitting aim to him, isn't it, Jerry? But we haven't got the real one here, sir. Lewis? Yes. I suppose you made this. Yes, sir. All right. Jolly good effort. Jolly good. Sure, little boy. Give it to Lewis, will you? Okay. Uh, is something special on today, sir? Yes, there is. Now, I want all the crew down in the wardroom right away. Okay. Huey! Hello. Ask the uh, lads to come down. The skipper wants everybody in the wardroom. Right. 
Fly up there, skip on to all in the wardroom. What, all of us? Yes, everybody. Is he? Roy? Something special on the day. Hope so, anyway. How's your boots, sir? Morning, sir. Right. There's a German raid route south of Iceland. And we're going out to relieve the cat that's found it. It's doing towards our convoys, so we've got to hang on to it. Okay? Okay, I'll okay. right. we'll get going. Well, what a fun today. I'll bring it up the betting may start up first time. Yes, I've got all that, sir. I'll tell the CNC. I think he's on his way down now. Yes, things always happen that way. Still, we've got plenty available, I think. How long will they be changing those bombs? Oh, here is the CNC, so I'll ring it up again later and I hear what to do. Goodbye, sir. Morning, Patrona. Morning, sir. How are we getting on? Well, sir, 27 Group are sending off a Sunderland to relieve N of 407 on shadowing. The 28th group are sending off a Beaufort strike with torpedoes, followed by Hudson's with bombs. I see. I think we shall have to move a Beaufort squadron from Force to Iona in case we get a second chance of a strike on the enemy. He may continue on that southerly course, and in that connection, uh, we shall have to arrange for some sweeps in that area in case the shadowing aircraft loses the enemy in a storm. Yes, sir. By the way, when are those strikes going to get off? Now, the Beaufort ought to be off almost immediately, sir, and the Hudson's will be about an hour and a half. They've got to change their bombs. Changing bombs? Yeah, looks like a big setup. <laughs> 